Oops. <coughs> All right, let's make this quick. Um, it's just a short video. I don't want to to um, extend this any longer than I must. Also, please, uh, I'm sorry about the bad lighting right now, but it's like, I don't give a fuck. Um, so, the latest chapter of Dead by Daylight was released, or announced, sorry, announced, um, and it's the Skull Merchant. And I see a lot of criticism around that chapter. And to be honest, yeah, um, some of the gameplay-wise arguments are absolutely valid. I 100% agree that her power doesn't feel as strong as it should be. But I have a, a, a very specific issue on cr the criticism that happens to her in different ways. Um, let's have a look at my personal point of view. I'm a trickster main. And being a trickster main is already a really, really terrible spot to be on in the Dead Padilla community. Because ever since, ever since I, I, I decided to be a trickster main, which was basically in the beginning when I started to play the game. Uh, because I really like his his style, his uh, design, his uh, choice of weapons. Uh, by now I'm, I mean to play all the range killers, so trickster, huntress, slinger, artist, even a little bit of clown and nemesis. I call them semi-range, but they're not in reality. I know it's it's like um, a different story. Uh, but I got a huge problem because of this, because I get a lot of comments in endgame chat and also sometimes on Twitch as I'm streaming that Trickster isn't a real killer. It shouldn't have been released. It shouldn't have been uh, put in that style as that he is. He's just like... Uh, I even get plenty of comments that uh, basically he's just a fanboy trying to get his, his stage clear or whatever. Um, I don't really care about these usually as much because yeah most of the times this this were people that are just killed um in worst case even married even though i don't play Mori that often um but now something interesting happened um you see a lot of videos and comments against the skull merchant and most of these videos are taking examples of how the skull merchant is terrible designed and comparing her to existing killers and i just saw the third video where people compared it to the trickster and said even the trickster is scary looking and fits the other killers in the roster unlike skull merchant are you fucking kidding me i'm playing this game for over a year now actively and all i heard ever was hate against trickster even from some of these people that make comments arguing with trickster against skull merchant are you fucking insane do you even realize what you're saying your critics the whole community goes nuts on the trickster design because it's just a comic figure figurine whatever um because of all other ways the cinematics and stuff are done. Do you even f think before you s say or write stuff? Come on guys, it's not that difficult. It's like... I have more problem that suddenly the trickster that was harassed all the time by the community is, is now taken as a positive example. Because people were shit-talking it all the time. And as a trickster main, I was standing there and had to had to read comments like, yeah, trickster is like Huntress, but for less skilled people, because yeah, you need to hit uh, six knives instead of one hatchet. The exposed add-on is not even half as strong as the, as the Huntress add-on is and stuff. But it's like, I mean, you can't always please the whole crowd. I get that. But for fuck's sake, get your shit together. I mean it. Behavior did 
a good job providing a new killer. It won't be S tier. That's also something I read a lot, by the way. Uh, people complaining that the new killer isn't strong. Well, yeah, hello. If every new killer would be S tier or A tier, um, we would forget all the old killers because every single killer would be better than the last one. And that's also not how this should work. And also, especially most of the people complaining, you don't play this shit competitively. I don't either. So for fuck's sake, stop complaining about what's S tier or A tier or whatnot. I know everybody likes to, to watch the videos of, of Odds and, and Tofu and Coconut RTS and stuff about how killers are rated, how maps are rated, how perks are rated, how add-ons are rated, how ratings are rated. It doesn't really matter in the end. Because, big surprise, most of the players are in the middle of the hidden MMR, somewhere in the middle of the hidden MMR. Nobody gives a shit. Where sometimes Trapper works better than Nurse because killers are too stupid to play their killers right, because they don't spend enough time on a single one, because they want to play like 15 or maybe even maybe even every single one, I don't know. So please keep your your opinions in a in a at least uh, at least in a way that you can present them without falling ashamed immediately because Let's be honest, guys. <clears throat> you don't need to play this cow merchant. But you pr maybe will play against it if you are a survivor. And if you think that pl the killer is so trash, be happy about a free win. If you don't win, you must be trash, right? Nah, that's not how this works. I know, I know, I know. Um, it's just like... Stop playing this, this game of hypocritical commentary and arguments because... If I see one more person taking the tricks as a good example, while everybody was bashing it in the past, I guess I just go nuts. Anyways, that's it. Um, if you want to argue against it, feel free to do so in the comments. Maybe this will give some drive to my channel, I have no idea. See you in the next one.